Hello, I'm photographer Scott Harwick, and today I'm going to show you how to shoot a bottle and get a good highlight using Savage Translum. Okay, so I've got a light source in here. We're ready to start taking pictures. Uh, I've just got a 7 inch reflector, and let's take a shot and see what it does. All right, you can see what happened here. This looks terrible. This has got hot spots, it's glary, it's just a mess. So we need to start working with that. Okay, so let's change this light out and put a softbox in and see if that helps. We should be looking for a highlight all the way down the length of the bottle. All right, so I've got a strip box in here and along the side of the bottle, and we'll take a shot and see if this gives us a nice wraparound light that we're looking for. All right, you can see from the photo that we see the direct reflection of our softbox on the bottle. We see the hard edges, we see everything. Why is that if it's a softbox? The difference here is there's no texture on our bottle. If we had texture on the bottle, we would do that. So we have to create a gradation. We're not going to get it from our softbox. And so we're going to do that using Translum. Let me bring a roll in of Translum and we'll see what that does. Okay, so now we've got a roll of Translum in here and I've got my softbox behind it. The Translum is really close to our surface or about of our backdrop and I've got a little bit of space in here. So let's take another shot and see if that helps. Okay, that helped out a little bit. We're starting to see a gradation of the edges, but it's not quite where we want. It doesn't really have that three-dimensional look yet. It looks diffuse, but it's not helping us out much. Let's do one more thing and see if that helps. I'm gonna back this light up a little bit, and I'm gonna turn it. And what turning it does is it creates a fall off. The light's gonna fall off, naturally fall off, but because it's so diffuse, it's gonna give us that nice wraparound diffuse edge in the highlight. All right, you can see that now. Now we've got something that looks really good. All right, so you can take this light, and move it back and forth. You can turn it more or less, depending on your creative vision. Have fun with this stuff. But the only way to get that kind of gradated light is to go through the Savage Translum. All right, that's our video for today. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to create a nice background and actually get some light through the bottle using some Savage Translum. Thanks for watching.